It is very evident that the new IFB cult leader, Pope Steve Anderson, has a habit of habitual lying and false accusations uh, thrown against their detractors and their critics, the critics of the new IFP. This is uh, one such detractor, his name is Russell Botts. He, I think he got um, kicked out of the cult back in 2017 from what I remember. You know, seeing the events play out on YouTube, of course, because all the little dramas are broadcast on YouTube for all to see. You know, in violation of the conduct in Matthew 18, we're supposed to go to them in private. But, you know, that's just, that's how the cult operates. But essentially, he's come out and uh, essentially just, you know, come out and said he's not going to be intimidated by Stephen Anderson and asked Anderson to provide the phone records because he's claiming that he's going around calling people, uh, trying to convert them over, I guess, to his side or whatever. And he's saying, you know, hey, Anderson, show the phone numbers. Because, you see, Anderson, got a ha Anderson has a habit of habitual lying and just totally exaggerating the situations of when he gets into little feuds with people who end up becoming detractors. Like just want to read a couple of scriptures off the, uh, just on, on, the, on, the, um, on the spot, I'll put it that way. Uh, Proverbs 12, 17. He that speaketh truth showeth forth, right showeth forth righteousness, but a false witness to see. Uh, Proverbs 14, 5, a faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. And Proverbs 19, sorry, Proverbs chapter uh, 25, verse 18, sorry, a man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul and a sword and a sharp arrow. That those verses accurately describe Stephen Anderson, plain and simple. He's a false witness. And here is the uh, detractor, Russell Bott, I think is what his name is, coming out and just rebuking Anderson for his lies. Check this out. But, um, you know, I do believe in aspects of the Trinity, right? So, but anyway, they, you know, they post that they think that it's funny, you know, that I graduated from Trinity. Oh, how ironic. And then, of course, Pastor Stephen Anderson, you know, he chimes in and he says, uh, you know, that I'm the most malicious of them all because I'm constantly contacting people from the church. Well, here's my charge to you, Pastor Anderson. And I'm trying to remain humble as possible, but quite frankly, I'm sick of your lies. Here's my charge to you. Show the people a phone log, okay? All these people that I, I constantly call. Show the people my text messages, the paper trail, of all these people that I'm constantly texting, trying to subvert. You know what? You're not going to be able to prove anything because you're a liar and there's nothing there. And, and that's one of the things that I've really noticed about you is you are an exaggerator, you are a liar, and I mean, just lie after lie comes spewing out of your mouth. And it's disgusting, and quite frankly, it's pissing me off. This is the consistent theme with the new IFB cult against their detractors, is now they're, they're labeled to the category of lost, reprobate, you're going to bust hell wide open. Why? Well, because really, ultimately, you've questioned the authority of Steve Anderson, and therefore questioned the authority of God. I've seen that play out with the whole, you know, again, I was part of the new IFB for about 2017, kind of like mid 2017 to early 2019 and the kind of the breaking point for me was seeing how the whole adam fannin situation played out and how when adam fannin went against the demands of steven anderson and his little lackey jonathan shelley well you know that was pretty much proof positive it was a cult there's no independence whatsoever because the puppet pastors are more afraid to offend steven anderson than they are to offend and obey god so the final authority is not the bible the final authority is steven anderson's view and interpretation of the bible and they'll take verses out of context to justify their wicked actions. But this is the kind of typical slander tactics you'll see in Scientology or in Islam or Roman Catholicism or any other false religion against their detractors. You have to just exaggerate the situation. And this is a consistent theme with Stephen Anderson's new IFB cult in this kind of papist Islamic type of jihad against their, their detractors. Because they can't stand it when someone questions the leader. Because when you've questioned Stephen Anderson, you've now apparently questioned God. And Stephen Anderson will actually apparently, I guess, go up to heaven and you know take the book of life out of behind you know behind God's back. We'll get the holy eraser and blot your name out for committing the unpardonable sin of questioning him or the new IFB. Plain and simple. Do you think I'm you know being sarcastic? Hey, this is the group that ought to be you know called out and ought to be harshly called out because they are doing damage to the body of Christ, just like the whole Westboro Baptist Church side up. So anyway, and I speak from a former member as a former member of the new IFB. So wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.